both of you doing today? Hi, Hi Sharonda. Nice I to meet you. I love that you're on the couch with us. <laughs> I was with y'all the whole time. I was just supporting you from afar. <laughs> you just hit me. We love it. <laughs> but look, you know, I really want to ask you, one of the, you know, you have all this success, right? Rightfully so. You deserve but I want to know, like, what is some advice that you would have given yourself before going into season one, you know, after everything that you know now after completing season two, what would you have went back and told yourself to prepare you for the journey you've been on? Gosh, that is such a good question. Really is a good question. Because you know, what's funny is even after season one, we thought going into season two that we like were pros. Like we did it. We knew what we, right. And season two was so different even from season one in just in terms of what we filmed and how we filmed. I will say you, you could never prepare for filming. It is just such a wild ride. Season one is so different from season two, but I think that the best advice we got before going into season one, which is simple, but it's important to remember is to just be yourself, be, you know, be exactly who you are and let people like you or not like you, but you know, just, just yeah. be exactly who you, who you are. And that way, when people actually meet you, they're like, oh, you are exactly the way right. you, you are on the show. Right. Or, well, the good thing is, is we don't know how to be anyone else. So it, that came easily to us. Not to actors. Yeah. No, not definitely actors. not actors. But I mean, also to expanding your business, you know, it's crazy. Like when you kind of start this idea, like your baby, you, you have like a, like an end goal on where you want to be, but it seems like you might've already surpassed that. So I guess, <laughs> how do you make sure that you're still continuously growing within your business mindset to be able to continue to push and push yourself to just create and accomplish new goals? Like, how do you, how do you do that? You know, I think that one thing that Joanne and I have always been from day one, we've never stopped. And honestly, we don't really say no, we're yes people, because I think having that mentality, you never know what doors are going to open. You never know what's going to lead to something else. You, we keep a very, very open mind. We, again, we don't say no to projects. We don't say, we, we say yes. And everyone's like, but can you fit this in with this? And it's like, you know what? We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna try. We just say yes. And, yeah. you know, I think that we, we know how to juggle. We don't know how to balance. We're not, we're, we're no balancing act here. So everyone's like, how do you balance kids? And we're like, oh no, we don't do that. No, but we're good at juggling and we're good at multitasking and we're organizers. So we compartmentalize, you know, we, we categorize all of our, the different pieces of our business and we, we focus accordingly and mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a system it's, yeah. it, it's all. So, you know, and we we're just highly motivated people um who will stop at absolutely nothing ever and we so. try to have fun along the way so that it never feels like work you know that even if we're if, even if we're tired you know or you know feeling run down we're still like well still this is the best job ever right you know still the best life anyone could possibly ever have so but I mean let's let's talk about how you showcase that it is okay to kind of split parental responsibilities. Because I feel like as women, we're always taught that women just have to accomplish everything and be everyone. And that's just not the case all the time. And I really want you to talk about the importance of just showcasing that like, hey, in order for us to follow our dreams sometimes, we kind of have to take a back seat in other duties and that's okay. It's well, okay. you know, it's interesting because we both moved to Nashville for both of us separately. Uh, we didn't know each other, but for our husband's jobs. And now what's so interesting is that we're going to stay probably national, probably forever, both of us for our jobs, you know, and our husbands both work and they both have busy careers as well, but they, we've, we're very fortunate to marry very, both separately, very supportive people of our career and our goals and our endeavors. And they have really stepped into the, to the main parental role. Clea yeah. and I are do the best we can, but we're like, we're like, okay, parents, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say Look, we're like the, our kids love us. Yeah, we're not they're, winning any mom awards. No, but you know? they're they're fed. They're we still are. Yeah, yeah, yeah but uh, we're not on the PTA. I don't know all their parent, all their kids' friends' names. I mean, I'm just real with the fact that I can do what I can do, and I'll do it to the best that I can. But, but this is this is where we are right now. And thank God for our husbands. Honestly, thank God. They, they are just the actual best. There was one morning I remember my husband was on a work trip, and my daughter looked at me and she's like who's going to give us breakfast? I was like, I am get you, get a neutral grain bar. I was like, just get out of here. You yeah. know, like I can do, I can do this. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, but you know, we, we don't, we don't pretend to be anything. We're not. No, 
No, I appreciate it. And kids are humbling. And also to those PTA moms, they stressed out. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> totally. Nothing's harder than being a PTA. I, honestly, I believe that. I literally okay. think being a stay-at-home mom is the actual hardest job, which is why I, I could never have that as an option because I, I don't have it in me. I, yes, I do not have it in me to not work. Me too, honestly. It's easier to work. Yes. Y'all better keep it real because I share the same sentiments. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, you've accomplished so much, but everyone has a bucket list. So my final question, who is that bucket list person? Michelle Obama. That- Number it's gonna one. happen. We gonna claim it. Is there? <laughs> yeah. We all you know her. We all know. Yeah. We, we have we have like a handful of people. Michelle is definitely. Yeah. We have to pick one. Yeah, she's, she's number, number one. one. Yeah. I will color categorize all the those jewel tone sweaters all day long. We've also, um, well, I mean Beyonce, of course. Um, we I I really would love to do the Queen of England. We've been told no. Um, so that's, that's fine. But I mean, how fun with her hats with all of her, ma- cause she has like every suit and every color of the rainbow. So beautiful. But anyway, she told us no, that's she okay. Told us no. Yeah. Um, Oprah, of course, like who wouldn't yeah. want to, right, 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 right. although I would, I would be so intimidated. I'd probably die. I, that, that would, that might be too much for my heart. Um, yeah. But anyway, Michelle's number one, no offense to Oprah. I mean, no, Oprah- it'll take Barack if, if he came calling. He did. I know, but he has we, to inter- No, 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 not for organizing. Actually, he did say he wanted us to organize maybe his office, but we did, we had the privilege oh. of interviewing him for his book tour. So uh, highlight- Oh my God, of our life, ever. Highlight of our life. Look, he knew I, am, I am claiming all, this all gonna happen, all of them. All right. of them is gonna happen for you. We're gonna manifest that. But I just wanna thank the both of you for taking time out of your day to see I'm sending okay. so much love and light your way. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so Thank much. You it was so, so nice much to speak with you. Thank you. Thank you.